Yo guys, this is Orbit here from TGN. Update 31 is now on PC test, so make sure you go and check that out. I've actually got um, some of the some of the things that they have implemented into update 31 that I'm just going to kind of scroll through and read with you. I'll also include a link in the description for you to check out yourself because I'm not going to touch on everything. I'm just going to kind of I'm going to read through, but, you know, there's some things that I don't need to really explain. For example, art update. I don't need to go into art update, but basically around different areas in the Gotham Metropolis, they've made, they've you know, they've buffed up the visuals, made everything look nice. This is preparation for going into PS4. So I don't need to go into all of that. That's just what's going on. Okay, if you want to read more into what visuals are going on, check the link in the description. Leveling content update. Players should no longer find themselves without a mission when completing level content. We now guide players to level 30 better by giving them the most important missions first and then granting missions that are relevant to their combat rating. Missions granted at level 30 are now chained to prevent players from receiving an unreasonable amount of missions at once when they reach level 30. Reduce the amount of experience required to reach level 8 through 29. Players within this range may log in and find their level increased. The experience, however, required to reach level 30 remains unchanged, which is, I don't understand that because they've reduced the XP you need from 8 to 29, but it's still the same amount of XP to, from 0 to 30. So I'm a bit confused there. You know, don't know what's going on there. Okay, uh, we did a pass on leveling content NPCs, removing abilities that seemed unfair and up updated abilities and visuals effects where needed. Mm -mm -mm. Weaker enemies and leveling content may now use attacks that are vulnerable to block or interrupt and can be countered. However, weak enemies still cannot inflict counters on you. And only have vulnerability to counter mechanics. So basically getting you used to the mechanics as you're leveling up. You know, you don't need to worry about blocking because, you know, they're going to block break you. But it's going to get you used to kind of doing your stuff on them. The level of enemies in the three final episodes have been reduced. Update leveling content with new icons and made an icon consistency pass to improve messaging. Okay, so that's pretty much what the leveling update, part of the leveling update is all about. Then we've got mainframe update. Henchmen, backups, sidekicks, accomplices are now available as soon as you gain access to your base and mainframe. The cost has been reduced. The cost of gaining access to a sidekick or accomplice has been reduced to five marks of triumph. The initial rank... Um, to do the, for the initial rank, sorry. 20 marks of triumph for the final rank. The cost of boosting, however, has not been changed. Um, backup, it costs 10 marks of triumph for the initial rank and 40 marks of triumph for the final rank. And again, the boosting has re re remains unchanged. Players re Player reward update. Basically, it goes on about the loot system, but about how you, you know... Um, it's not a, a, like a rolling system. You will just kind of get loot dropped into your inventory. But the only thing that is on a kind of a need, greed and pass is like NPCs. And, you know, if they drop like a weapon or something, that will go on to the need, greed and pass loot system. However, bosses, you'll just get your own personal loot. Okay, which they've kind of implemented it already with the tier 5 stuff. Okay, uh, do, 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 do. Marks of Triumph are now awarded for completing the following content. It's got Area 51, Bloodhaven, Gorilla God, Hive, Oolong Island, No Laughing Matter, Things That Go Boom, Villain Only in brackets, Completing Level 30 Bounties in Gotham and Metropolis, now award 1 Mark of Triumph and Cash, Completing Level 3 to 30 Leveling Content Side Missions includes Single and Multi-Stage Versions, in Gotham and Metropolis now award one mark of triumph. Main storyline leveling content missions include marks of triumph now. 
completing the last mission of an episode now awards a mark awards a mark of triumph and a sample marketplace consumable item in addition to its regular rewards okay da -da 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 -da. audio got some audio fixes fixing missing voiceovers and stuff again i don't really need to go too much into that feats the feats a family affair no longer requires the mission take heart to complete then we've got general updated trait descriptions to better describe abilities for the following power types iconic uh, gadgets light mental sorcery nature electricity earth no powers have been changed just the description we, we <clears throat> excuse me we removed one level 25 flight acrobatic and speedster race in robertson park due to its change in that area feats are feats that reflected um these races have been changed to no longer include these races as requirement um fix an issue causing npcs to not use correct animation when in flight during cinematics uh do, 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 do. players should no longer get stuck in a casting animation during a level up animation slightly reduce the delay caused when activating a form change ability that's cool so when you're switching into all form and stuff they've reduced the time casting into that uh, just just kind of skipping over added some mayhem to the vault hmm, what's that about Anyone on PC test, let me know what this mayhem is all about. I hope they don't fling the presents around about again. And, you know, that's the mayhem going on in there. Uh, we are updating screens with the new DC Universe Online logo. Um, so some screens may have the new logo, while others may not. So I'm hoping they've got some new loading screens. So Because I'm, I'm sick and tired of Joker. And, you know, it'd be nice to get some new loading screens. I'm not sure if that's what they mean. Uh, da, 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 okay, missions. Da, 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 da. Low level bounty and wanted missions in Gotham and Metropolis are now level 30 and can be repeated daily. Players who currently have low level bounty missions in their journal will see that these low level bounties have completed, that have been completed and their original rewards can be claimed. Leveling content side missions in Gotham City and Metropolis are now replayable with the exception of Roller Coaster of Doom, Too Bad, Hot Dog Zombie, Rats, a Zombie, and Cyphobia. The Vault Intro Mission Vault Ambush now requires completion of the Research and Development Intro Missions. Power Tank Roll Taunt. The following abilities are now a single target taunt and no longer taunts enemies in an area. The effect is more powerful and will not be broken by a standard tank roll taunt. This will allow multiple tanks to work together in strategical split targets. To split targets. That's really cool. So you've got Earth um stone for earth power fireball for firepower frost snipe is the ice power for that so for example two um two tank in nexus for example you know i remember um splitting groups you know you might want to split the split the bosses up and that kind of stuff that's just one example and you'll be able to use these powers really nicely i personally use earth and grit works fine to get single target single target pull on them um anyway that's kind of some of the changes um, with update 31, which is now on PC test. I'm going to include this in the description because I didn't touch on everything, just kind of skimmed through it. But there is a lot there. But I mean, there's nothing kind of like, you know, oh, wow, you know, do you know what I mean? It's just like getting in preparation for PS4 this update. Anyway, hope you guys have enjoyed the video. Really apologize. I haven't kind of released a video in a while. Um, been doing stuff. Like, comment, and subscribe, guys.